straight axis piston pump. This piston pump has a cylinder block which is fitted to the drive shaft of the pump. That means cylinder block and the drive shaft both are having the same axis. That's why this pump is called straight axis piston pump. It has a shoe plate mounted on a swash plate and the swash plate is fixed with an angle to the axis of rotation of the pump. This is swash plate. It is mounted with an angle to the axis of the pump and the shoe plate is mounted on this swash plate. The angle of the swash plate can be varied, can be changed in order to change the discharge. There will be a mechanism to change the angle of the swash plate. So that mechanism is not shown in this figure. By changing Changing this angle of the swash plate, we can change the rate of flow of oil that is discharge of the pump. When the shaft is rotated, it, it causes the cylinder block to rotate. The shoe plate will also rotate along with it, causing the pistons in the bores to reciprocate. When the shaft is rotated, cylinder block will rotate, all the pistons will revolve about the axis and the shoe plate will also rotate. As the shoe plate is mounted with an angle, this will cause the pistons to move in and out inside the bores. Half rotation of the cylinder block causes suction of oil into the bore and the next half rotation will cause delivery of the oil from the there are 8 or 12 number of such bores which are continuously performing suction and discharge in sequence and hence the discharge of the pump is smooth, not pulsating, smooth and continuous. The discharge is determined by size of bore, number of pistons, stroke length and speed of the shaft. Stroke length means the angle of the swash plate. We can change the stroke length by changing the angle of the swash plate.